everyone, it's Tracy from Travel Time. I'm excited to share what we did on our fourth day of this trip to Iceland. I put this map together of the locations for today so you'd get a better idea of where we were and also so you can get a sense of the timing involved. We started out our day at the campsite on the Westman Islands and we'll be ending it at the campsite in Vik. We stayed at this campsite called Glamping and Camping and really enjoyed it very much. It was very clean and very well maintained. After we had our coffee in the comfort of our cuckoo camper vans, we were on our way to the ferry, which even had breakfast for purchase and the sandwiches were pretty good. Once we were back on land, we enjoyed the scenery on the way to our first waterfall of the day. Our first stop was at Selly Lansfoss. This is that famous walk behind waterfall. It's a great location for a photo op. The water is just beautiful. However, please keep in mind that you should be prepared with your waterproof gear because you're certainly going to need it here. It can be slippery making your way up the steps, so you do want to be sure to choose the right footwear. Also, if you're wearing gloves to hold onto the railing, you want waterproof gloves or they'll be soaked by the time you get halfway up. Maybe that choice of the loose flyaway poncho wasn't the best choice here, unless of course you have more waterproof gear underneath. Even though slippery, these steps are very easy to climb. At the top, where the steps end, there's a pathway to follow. It's mostly clear, but there are a few spots that you'll have to climb over some rocks. If you have any mobility concerns, it's up to you if you want to just take your time and walk slowly, or if you maybe want to just skip it and view the falls from the bottom. Here's where I get to have some fun showing you the waterfalls in slow motion. Don't you just love my Viking hat? Hey Russ, why don't you get out of the street and come up here and join us? <laughs> Once you get done with the first waterfall, just a short walk down a paved pathway is the hidden waterfall. When you get to the opening in the rocks, when you look through, you can see the waterfall hidden inside the cave. Your only way to get back to that waterfall is by walking up through the stream or by walking on the rocks on the sides of the stream. Since I had waterproof boots on, I just decided to walk up through the middle of the stream because I really didn't want a chance tripping on the rocks. In my opinion, it is so worth the effort to get back there because it is really amazing to be inside that cave with those waterfalls right behind you. And even luckier if you're there early when there's nobody else around and you get to have the whole cave to yourself. Watch out for them. They are everywhere. We've made our way to Skåfoss, another great waterfall. This is definitely a must-see in Iceland. You may even get to see a double rainbow while you're here. Hey, notice those trekking poles? We'll talk more about those later.
we've made the climb up to the Deer Hole'e Arch. Up here, there's also the lighthouse and great views all around. Definitely worth a stop here. You'll even get to see a glacier and your first glimpse of the famous Black Sand Beach. The parking area here is very limited in size. However, you can see right in front of you are two cuckoo campers. I certainly am happy we could find spaces. Driving back down this road is just as much an experience as trying to make your way up. When we arrived here this trip, I was very happy to see that they had widened the road and made it a little less scary than it was the last time I came up here. Next stop, Black Sand Beach. Yay, Black Sand Beach. I love it here. But I gotta give you a warning. When people get caught in a sneaker wave here, they find it very difficult to escape and get back to shore. Please be careful. There we were a little while ago, and now we're down here at Black Sand Beach. There's Black Beach Restaurant. It's never been open when I've been here, but I have heard that it's pretty good. Next stop, the campsite in Vik. made it to the campsite after a very long day of exploring having a great time and lots of laughs this is the beautiful view from where we were parked we could see the ocean and there were even some gorgeous icelandic horses in the field i hope you enjoyed this and found it helpful i'm going to put some links down below of different equipment you might want to consider thanks so much for watching